Hey guys, welcome to Chestnut Oaks Homestead channel. Uh, today we're going to be making a pig pen gate for our piglets. Um, so before we get into this, I've already cut up the metal. I didn't, I didn't record that, but I'm using one by one square tubing. Um, so now we're just going to start by grounding down the edges to prepare for the weld. Um, we want to have nice grooves with the joints so that our bead can fill that groove and just create better welds. Um, and we'll have less to grind down afterwards. So here I grabbed um, a piece of plywood now to lay everything down on the concrete. It's not very flat and there's a lot of hydraulic oil that leaks in the tractor. So just um, put that down just to lay it all out on. And uh, So now I'm just laying it out, uh, getting it all squared up. So once it's laid out though, uh, I went ahead and I'll just grab right here my two magnetic uh, squares. Um, these things are pretty super handy and they're really cheap just to kind of help get it close to square. Um, and then begin the process of making everything perfectly square. I started out just by eyeing it and then measuring across to get in the ballpark uh, and then just started measuring corner to corner to make sure it's all squared up. Um, then it's time to start tacking the uh, corners together. Uh, it's really repetitive so I'll make a couple tack welds and check it that it's square here um, and then tack another corner, check for square, realign, tack, check, tack, check. Um, it can be a little time to zoom to get it perfect but you definitely want to make sure you put the time and make it square. But really, you can never really spend too much time getting it square. Uh, it just makes everything else in the process a lot easier. Um, and then start to get it welded up. I didn't want to weld every corner, so I just welded a corner. I think I did actually two. And then I'll go ahead and flip it over um, and check for square again, because sometimes after attack things, flip it over. It can get a little wonky if you're not careful flipping it over. So that's why I do like a bead or two complete before... Um, and then even with one bead in a corner, you can still hammer it a little straight again. And once I flip it over, again, make sure checking that it's square, corner to corner. And once I was certain everything was square, then I went ahead and started laying beads, um, all while continuing to make sure everything stayed square um, after each corner, just so I don't get too far in before I realize it's not. Um, so then I realized I forgot to cut and prep the uh, center bar that I wanted to put on. So now it's time to go ahead and do that. So now it's time to put that on. Um, I measured up from one end, uh, from the bottom end of the gate. Um, I don't remember how far, but really you want to measure the, the paneling if you're going to put paneling on, which I'll later do. Um, and that way it's nice if across the bar a piece of uh, horizontal piece of the paneling runs along that. Um, I, I found that that was kind of nice, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use the magnets to help hold it in place uh, nice and square. If you don't have these um, square magnets, um, these things are really nice. It's kind of hard to get things square otherwise. Uh, I know some people have some jig, but these things are super convenient. Um, if you don't have them, go out and get them. You can get them at Lowe's, wherever. Um, I can put, I'll put a link in the description. You can check them out on Amazon definitely super useful and of course you know you want to flip it over and make sure I have weld on all four sides on each that my frame was finished and all that was left was to clean it up a bit. So for the next part I'm sure there was a better way to do it but uh, this is what I did and it worked and it didn't take a whole lot of effort. Um, if I were to do it over again I probably would just do 45 cuts on the tubing at the top. Um, but I took an old drip cover from a gas grill and cut small caps for the top of the gate to help keep the water from rusting it out from the inside. And I left the bottom uncapped so that any water that does leak in can drain out. 
Um, if I had to do this part over again in this little part right here, I definitely would have cut a bigger piece to cover the whole top. Instead of trying to just fit in the inside, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, that would have just made the welding so much easier because I struggled with some holes because that drip pan was so thin compared to the tubing. Um, but it ended up working. Um, I got the weld on and, and covered up holes. I had to kind of go back and weld it twice at one point. But it worked. Um, then I went ahead and ground it down and repeated for the other side. And then we were good to go. But again, if I had to do it again, I definitely would have done 45s at the top and then left the bottoms uh, open at just a 90 degree cut. But now it's time to attach the hog paneling. Um, if you intend to keep any piglets or small or animals, make sure you get hog paneling and not just cattle panel so that the openings are smaller at the bottom of the paneling. As you can see on the left hand side of this, the, the openings are smaller. So for this, I made sure to weld outside with good ventilation since the paneling is galvanized. Um, and I probably should have ground down a little bit of the paneling where I was going to weld, but I didn't. So I wanted to overdo this and I really wanted to weld it on so nothing can push it out because our bore is pretty strong. Um, so I kind of overdid some of the welds instead of just tacking it. But now our gate is built. It turned out pretty good so far. The welds went fairly well. I'm still relatively a amateur welder. <laughs> I've been welding for probably, I guess I started welding maybe four years ago, but I only welded there in the fall up at the local ski resort. We welded up all the rails in the terrain park that you see guys hitting. Uh, and my boss up there, when I worked in the training park, my boss, he was a really great welder and taught me a lot of stuff. And so I, I helped weld some things up there and, and really got my feet wet. And I fell in love with it, so we bought a welder, um, especially when we moved out here. And we've welded up little things, uh, fixed the lawnmower deck. Um, I've just done some little projects here and there, little stuff. You know, my experience is slim, so I'm sure some of you guys are probably watching thinking like, oh man, why is he doing that? He should be doing this, that. Hey, if you have some tips in a respectful manner, that'd be awesome. Leave me a comment. Let me know some tips. I'm, I'm always, always willing to learn. A lot of these welds, they ended up pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this for my skill level. I felt like I, I did a pretty good job on this of what I know I'm capable of. And it was definitely pretty cool. Um, and yeah, could have gone and bought one for a lot of money. But I've got the time, so I just want to get it done. And I like making stuff. And it's cool when you put it up, you made it in store bought. It's kind of nice. So now our gate is built. And check out the next video, and we'll go ahead and attach it.